Shalom, back for another video. And first and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Merkakwadash, and next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of the Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith regardless of whether people hear or whether they forbear. All right, so this is going to be a lesson going to the topic of who does the Lord reveal his secrets to? All right, because can't just anybody pick up a Bible and break down the mysteries, the codes, okay, get the understanding of what's really being brought out, all right, which is the reason why most of the world rises up against us, okay, just like they rose up against Yahweh Shai and against the disciples, all right, and the prophets, okay, especially the uh, two-thirds the children of Israel all right they rose up against the prophets and they stoned the prophets all right so who does the Lord reveal his secrets to okay because the, the truth of the matter is that it, it, they are the the secrets that the world cannot receive all right which we're gonna go ahead and get that but um that's the topic for today without further ado let's jump right into it all right I'm gonna start here in the book of Romans chapter 16 and verse 25 it says now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach according to the revelation of the mystery which has kept secret since the world began all right so this mystery has been has been kept a secret okay and now it's being revealed all right it says but now it's made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith okay so the, the, the mysteries, all right, are, ma are made manifest by the revealing of the understanding of the scriptures of the prophets, okay? Which religions of the world, all right, they don't deal with the prophets. They don't want to deal with Isaiah through Malachi, all right? Because that's the heavy meat and that destroys false doctrine, all right? They want to throw away the Old Testament altogether. And why is that? Because they don't have the Holy Spirit, all right? They don't have the truth. And they can't understand the mysteries. They don't have the, the understanding of the prophecies. All right. Okay. It says, we'll read that again. Verse 26, Romans 16 and 26. But now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting God, made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. All right. And who are these all nations? These are Israelites that are scattered amongst the nations. Here in America, all right, we understand the mysteries. This is where the, the, the ministry of reconciliation really came out of. The heaviest all right but you got brothers over in brazil all right <clears throat> they're part of those nations okay those are brazilians that are israelites your brothers in nigeria those are nigerians that are israelites your brothers in peru those are peruvians that are israelites your brothers in the uk those are, 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 are british uh they're, they're yeah they're british and they're israelites all right you have brothers over in france okay they're french and they're israelites all right you have people in the philippines all right, they're Filipino and they're Israelites and you, hey, we just keep going on and on down the line. So these are all nations, all right, that the mysteries were made known unto, okay? Now, let's go to John the 14th chapter, okay, because it tells us, all right, that the Holy Spirit, all right, is the spirit of truth which the world cannot receive. This is how we understand these mysteries. This is uh, St. John 14, and I'm going to get verse 15. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth in you, and shall be in you. Alright, so what is the largest religion in the world? Alright, uh, uh, Christian Christianity, okay, and then followed behind uh, by, by Islam. Alright, well this here tells you that, the spirit of truth is the spirit that the world cannot receive okay so what does that tell you that means that the vast majority of people in the earth cannot receive the spirit of truth it's only given to a, a few select men all right so the flock of the lord is going to be a small one okay it's not going to be the, relar the largest religion on the earth all right so that's a cut right there but okay the point is is that once again in order to have the spirit of truth you must have the holy spirit all right they're one and the same okay and the Holy Spirit is what uh, reveals the mysteries of the Heavenly Father unto us. 
All right, let's get that. The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine, and verse. We'll go ahead and get verse um, seventeen. Okay, it says, "And thy and thy counsel, who hath known? Let's click on it. And thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above." All right, so the only way that you can know the counsel of the Lord, His will, okay, His mysteries, His secrets. All right, the only way you can know that is if they have wisdom. And how can you get wisdom except the Holy Spirit was sent from above? All right, verse 18. It says, For so the ways of them that lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. Okay, so first you have to have the Holy Spirit. All right, first you have to have the Holy Spirit, and then the Holy Spirit reveals the mysteries to you, it reveals the will of the Lord. All right, and through that wisdom, you're able to. To, to be reformed, I right, converted and be healed, okay, and then you're able to live a life that's pleasing unto the Lord that will ultimately lead to your salvation, which started through the wisdom that you received by way of the Holy Spirit, all right, so you have to have the Holy Spirit, okay, and if you have the Holy Spirit, you're going to go out there and prophesy, which is why I'm going to bring us to this next scripture, Amos 3 and 7, okay, it says, surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets okay so his secrets are not given unto everyone just any tom dick larry harry curly mo taisha tyresha all right fabrica okay no okay the secrets of the lord are given to who they're given to the prophets okay and the prophets give them out to the rest of the flock okay and if you have ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart to a heart to, to understand okay then you'll get it and you'll be reformed and healed all right, but that's not the most people. That's not the vast majority of people on the earth. Okay, we just read it in John 14. Okay, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. All right. So out of those people, okay, out of those people that can receive it. Okay, what's the difference between them and the other people of the world? All right, Psalms 25 and verse 14. Okay, and it reads. It says, "The secret of the Lord Yahweh is with them that fear Him, and He will show them His covenant." Okay. So the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. The vast majority of people on the earth, they don't fear the Lord. All right. They don't fear the Lord. OK, but so he reveals the secrets unto his prophets and then they pass those secrets on to those that fear him. All right. Let's get this. OK, so rock. Chapter three. And verse 19. All right. And it reads, it says, many are in high place. And of renown, okay, you got doctors, lawyers, scholars, debaters, all right, all these these highly renowned men in this society, okay. But the mysteries are revealed unto the meek, okay. It tells you in First Corinthians, the first chapter, that the Lord has chosen the weak to confound the mighty, okay, the foolish to confound the wise, all right. The mysteries of the Lord are revealed unto those who you would least expect. Okay, out of the mouths of babes has he perfected his ministry. All right, perfected his glory, as it says, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, so, once again, that's another thing people don't understand. They, they When they look for spiritual leaders, all right, they're going to go to the one in the three-piece suit with the, you know, fancy Cadillac and the giant building, you know, that has all the money, the wealth, okay, the big house, you know, successful career in businesses and all those kinds of things. But that's not who the Lord is has revealed his mysteries unto is the Lord has revealed his mysteries unto those that fear him and those that are meek okay which though both both the prophets uh, have both of those characteristics okay we fear the Lord and we come in a, in a state of humility all right we're in a low estate okay not looking to exalt ourselves all right because why because the Lord it says humble yourselves before the sight of the Lord and he shall exalt you in due time first Peter 5 and 6 all right but um let's continue on okay let's go now to the book of second Ezra, chapter eight all right i'm gonna skip down all the way down towards the bottom okay and we're gonna go ahead and get verse uh 61 all right and it reads it says and therefore is my judgment now at hand okay because the mysteries right, of the lord part of it is what he's getting ready to come to do his judgments all right, the people of the earth really have no clue all right, what's getting ready to happen within the next five to ten years. And Lord's will would be much shorter than that. Lord's will 
things pop off in the next year or so. I'm just being, you know, I'm just being, uh, I guess, generous with time, you could say. But, hey, we hope that things pop off in the next year. Okay, the people of the world, they have no clue what really is going to be the end result of Jacob's trouble. They have no clue that it's not going to be Russia and China that are ruling over the earth. Okay, they have no clue that it's going to be the Israelites, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that rule over the earth. All right, they have no clue of the chariots, the so-called UFOs that are getting ready to come down and deliver the elect. All right, so his judgment is now at hand. Verse 62, it says, These things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Okay, but he's only shown them to a few men. All right, not to everybody on the face of the earth. Okay, and this, uh, this, this has been ordained for our glory. All right, from the foundation of the earth to be able to come out here and break down prophecies the way that we do. All right, First Corinthians chapter two and verse six. It says, "How be it? We speak wisdom among the perfect. Okay, excuse me, among them that are perfect. All right, perfect in the spirit. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught." But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High hath ordained before the world unto our glory. All right. So this wisdom that we speak was ordained before the world unto the glory of the saints. Okay. Not everyone on the earth can understand and can receive it. Okay. He said, Isaiah 45 and 3, And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I the Lord Yahweh, which called thee by thy name, am the God or judge power of Israel. Okay, so he says, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, the mysteries, because this is what's going to lead ultimately to salvation. All right, to salvation and to inheriting the kingdom. So this is the true wealth, the true riches. Okay, Mark chapter 4 and verse 11. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery. I'm going to start at 10. Okay. Mark chapter 4 and verse 9. And he said unto them, Yahweh Shai speaking, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High. But unto them that are without, with all, the, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see, and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. Okay, so the Lord doesn't want to, He doesn't want to heal them. All right, He doesn't want to forgive them. Okay, they are marked for destruction. Let's go ahead and see the reason why. All right, Second Thessalonians, and we'll close out with this. Okay, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And one of the, also one of the parts of the mystery, all right, is is who the wicked is okay and that's being revealed as we speak okay it says um <clears throat> my favorite will start at verse 7 second thessalonians 2 and 7 for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now will letteth will let until he be taken out of the way this is part of the lord's judgment that is at hand okay that mystery of iniquity okay the mystery of lawlessness that's what that word iniquity means okay anemia in the greek meaning condition without law Okay, the mystery of iniquity is already at work. Esau, all right, he's already, he's been ruling the earth for thousands of years at this point. Okay, and he's, and the Lord is allowing him to do it until that time comes that he is to be taken out of the way. Verse 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay, and once again, who is that wicked? That's talking about Esau Edom, the so-called white man in his rulership. All right, that's part of the mysteries of the kingdom. Okay, the judgments of the Lord. He's coming back to take down the rulers of this world. All right, it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. All right, so it's not Satan himself. All right, but it's his, a man or a group of a group of men who's coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Okay, they didn't they didn't want to receive the mysteries receive the understanding that 
the Lord is coming back to take down the ruler of this world. They want it to be a part of this world because they want the money, the power. All right. Right. So they, they are deceived by their unrighteousness and they're going to perish. OK. They receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They didn't receive the gospel. All right. It says, verse 11, and for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Okay, they had pleasure in unrighteousness, and the Lord uh, has damned them. Okay, they're condemned because they don't believe in the Lord. I tell you that John 3 and 18. The condemnation is that dark, uh, light has came into the world, but men love darkness. Okay, they love this society, they love this world, they love the benefits that they receive of being American, all right, of being a, a Babylonian. Okay, it says verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to the Most High for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because Yahweh hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. All right, so he chose us for salvation from the beginning to be sanctified all right, by the Holy Spirit and belief of the true gospel, whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right, so that's the video. Okay, just something quick. Lord's will is edifying. All right, thank you for listening. This has been Who Does the Lord Reveal His Secrets Unto? And as always, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. And until next time, Shalom.